They're coming to work early in the morning. We're cruising around. We see people. We wonder what they're doing. Well, when you're sleeping usually, Xavier Nuez is venturing into some dangerous neighborhoods. He's, he's been run out by gangs and searched by police. So what is he doing in the dark alleys in the middle of the night? Well, Xavier is here to show us his results. He's part of this uh, weekend St. Louis Art Fair in Clayton. Thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. And you have managed to capture some absolutely fantastic photos. I well, appreciate that. When did you start working with that kind of genre, shooting at night? Um, well, I started this series in the early 90s, um, and uh, it started through... little pause here as we turn on his mic. There you yeah. go. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so in the, in the early 90s, I started going into just the, the most rundown locations I could find. Why? Why? Because you just like the way it looks at night? Well, there's various reasons. Um, I love the... The sense of danger? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, frankly, I'm not looking to get in trouble. No. Uh, and I, you know, I run into problems. I run into gangs, and I run into situations. But really, my motivation is to um, uh, just find beauty in the most um, neglected and shunned corners of, of cities. I love big, dirty cities. My, and my wife would call that shabby chic. <laughs> shabby chic. All yeah. right. Well, there you. This this is shabby chic. I, yeah. I think that's a good description. This this whole idea of of taking pictures of this it, it's also profitable as well, is it not? Well, surprisingly, I didn't. You know, I didn't start doing this um, thinking that anyone would buy this. No, you did it for stuff. art, of course. Yeah. Uh, but as it turns out, yeah, it's extremely profitable. Uh, my business does very well. Can we uh, name drop? Are there people who we might know who have these hanging on their walls? Um, there's a number of celebrities and big corporations. Um, Angela Lansbury has one really? of her pieces. Danny DeVito. Um, uh, Earl Hamner, who's the, the creator of the Waltons. He's an old man. You know, sure. And he, uh, he came up, he told me, the, he sent me an email, uh, gave me the best compliment I could ever get. He what told was that? Me, he told me that my art made him want to live longer. And for a man who's in his wow. late 80s, that was that was really sweet. That's fantastic. So you've managed to move quite a few people with your art. Yeah. Are you going to stay with this type of photograph, or are you going to move into different areas? What are you looking at in the future? Um, I have there are three bodies of work that uh, I've been working on for many years. Um, one of them is a series of close-ups of um, dinner plates that I reglaze and repaint. Randy uh, likes that. Very, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, very unusual. Another one is a series of uh, of bugs, also very close up. I build little sets for them. They're very theatrical. So I, I come up with a, with a. Uh, they're they're all heroes in my mind. Sure. All these little bugs, and I build these sets that can be like a, a you know square inch. And I light them very dramatically with big studio lights and little Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, I did see it. There was right. an expose. That's very interesting. Are you going to have that at the art fair this weekend? Uh, maybe not. Um, uh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe next year. All right. Well, you can meet Xavier. He's just one of the many artists you're going to see at the St. Louis Art Fair in downtown Clayton this weekend. Chat it up with him. You can bug him if you want. Maybe he'll make art out of you. It starts tonight from 5 to if, 10. If you're a bug, I might make art. <laughs> he right. might. And it continues Saturday from 10 to 10 and Sunday from 11 to 4. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks a lot. Beautiful it. photographs. All yes. right. I love bugs. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Well, it is Friday. Of course, that means pep rally time. Hey, guys, I'm a little emotional here at Lutheran South. I got to tell you, I've always said I was going to get my name in lights, and my golly, they've done it. There it is. <laughs> I'm on the scoreboard at Lutheran South. Are you kidding me? What? Pep rally time. The students are ready to go. We're going to have some fun with the football teams. Got a little pep zone quiz coming up right here. Fox News in the morning. They made my dream come true.